Hi everyone, Amber here, and um, today we're going to do a yoga practice for neck and shoulders. So a lot of us, especially if we sit at desks all day, or even just moving forward, sitting in our cars, playing our phones, um, looking at our phones, looking down a lot at our screens and devices, things like that, um, or just even um, maybe forgetting to practice good posture practices, um, which is common and many of us do, myself included, um, can find that we maybe feel a lot of or a bit of tension or even pain or stress within our neck and shoulders. Maybe you're feeling a bit anxious or stressed out right now and uh, maybe you're holding on to some of that in your neck and shoulders. So today, um, today's practice is not necessarily a cure-all and I'm not a doctor, um, but as a yoga instructor I'd like to just take some time today to show you and to practice um, just some simple stretches and yoga moves, things you can do that might help loosen up some of that tension in those neck and shoulder areas as well as just um, help us you know improve our health and feel better in that way so um, our home practice today we're going to come to the mat and some things you might like to have is you might like to have a blanket I have this blanket but you don't necessarily have to have a blanket like this you can get creative with, the, with whatever you have at home so you know just any blanket you have that might be similar maybe you pull it up similar to this and you use it to sit on and things like that um you don't have to have this for today's practice um but if you do have something like this i recommend it you might find it helpful and just more comfortable that way um so that's kind of um pretty much what we're doing here you might want to have a block um again you don't necessarily have to have it but i'll be showing you a few optional things you can do with the block if you'd like um, if you don't have a block and you want to use something similar, you can always use like if you have a big thick book. If anyone still has a fun book, I don't know if you, anyone does anymore, but if you do, um, this is probably the best use for them to use them like this. Um, or, you know, just any similar objects, again, around your house. But if you don't have a block, um, it's not that big a deal, so don't worry about it too much. The main thing you would like to have is, um, a yoga mat would be good to have for the practice and just wear some comfortable clothes that you can easily move around in. So we're going to go ahead and start by finding a comfortable seat, whatever that is for you. So you just kind of sit, yeah, I'm sitting here on my blanket. A um, little disclaimer, I have some cats that live with me um, that also live in my home yoga studio space. So they might distract or make an appearance, but I like to think it just adds a little character and color to the video if, if, that, if they do. But anyway, moving onward. Find your comfortable seat, whatever that is for you. I like to get to a blanket or something to elevate the hips. I find that can make it more comfortable to sit with your upright spine. Um, but if not, um, just feel, feel free to play around with it and find a comfortable seat for you, whatever that looks like today. And uh, you can be cross-legged or take your leg out to the side like this if you want. Or if you want to stretch your legs out in front, um, you might do that. But for most of us, it will just be a simple cross-legged seat. And just sit with the crown of your head lengthening up towards the ceiling. Start to find that good posture. Really lengthen your spine. Let your sitting bones root down towards the floor. And then let it relax a little bit so your shoulders relax down and back away from your ears. You might close your eyes for a moment if you'd like. We're just going to take a little brief moment of stillness as we get started here. Just taking this time out of our day to come to our mat. And just reminding ourselves that no matter what happens in the world or what happens around us, that we always have these practices that we can come back to. We can always come back to our yoga mat. We can always come back to our breath. So as we sit here in this place of stillness, just take a few moments to gently connect with your breath. <coughs> Excuse me. So we'll just start here by taking a deep breath in through your nose and just notice any stress, any tension, that you might be holding on to at this time. And then take a deep breath out through your mouth. <sighs> Just kind of let that stress loose. Let it go. Let it release. Let it be. Let's do that one more time. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And exhale. Big sigh out through your mouth. <sighs> oh, let it go. And then from here, we'll move into our steady rhythmic breath. Here for count breath. <clears throat> and just gently breathe in and out through your nose. Inhale, two, three, 
four, exhale, two, three, four, breathe in, and breathe out. And just continue as best as you can along the steady rhythmic breath. Maybe inhale left, and exhale go, if that feels good to you. And as you sit here with this breath, I invite you to just take a brief moment here to set an intention for your practice. Maybe it's releasing any weight that you're feeling on your shoulders, letting it, you know, not carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders, if you would, as the Beatles would say. Um, you know, just kind of releasing that, um, letting that go. Maybe just kind of taking this time out to take really good care of yourself amidst whatever else might be going on around you or just anything else that you feel is positive and uplifting to you that you'd like to focus the time and energy of our practice today towards. We set our intention for today's practice. And as you sit here connecting with this breath and this intention, trying your best to stay with that steady four count breath throughout today's practice. If your eyes are closed, you may begin to open them. Inhale, sweep your arms overhead, reach your fingertips up towards the sky, really lengthen your spine, stretch your fingertips off. Exhale, release your hands behind you and try, if it's available to you, try to clasp your hands behind your back. And even um, maybe take your hands away from your back if you can, squeezing your shoulder blades together, opening up through your chest. Let's take one more breath in here. And exhale, release. Then roll your shoulders up by your ears. And then gently roll them down and back. And just do this a few more times here on your own, rolling your shoulders up and back starting to release any stiffness that we might be feeling in the shoulders. And then just allow your shoulder blades to relax down your back. Inhale, tilt your chin up towards the ceiling. Pause for a moment here. Still keeping that upright spine stretching along the front of your neck. Next breath in, come back through neutral. And exhale your chin down to your chest, chest to your chin. Let your shoulders stay relaxed down away from your ears. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, just begin to slide your chin over towards your right shoulder. You can just pause for a moment here. Maybe tilt back a little if and only if that feels good to you. So kind of feel it out, little half rolls. And then eventually you'll make your way down through center and over to the other side. The same thing here. So we'll do this a couple more times and just go at your own pace with your own breath. We'll just take a little extra time here today really focusing in on releasing pressure in the neck. And if you find any certain spots here where you're feeling a little extra tension, a little extra pressure, maybe even pause for a moment there. Just take a breath in, in that spot and then exhale to release and keep moving on with your with your gentle rolls. Again, you can be as fast or slow as you'd like. Just take your time. There is no rush right now. <coughs> and then in your own time, eventually make your way um, back to center and lift your chin back up to neutral. And then from here, if you're sitting on a blanket or something, you might want to grab a block or, or your block-like object and place it over to the right side. But if you don't have it, that's fine too. We're just kind of keeping your, your good posture. Begin to send your right hand to the floor or your block and slide your left ear just towards your left shoulder. So we're not forcing anything. It's not The ear's not meant to touch the shoulder or anything like that. We're just gently sliding in that direction, looking for a nice stretch along the side of your neck. Again, take your time here. Pause, breathe. Optional here if you want, you might choose to take your left hand and place it gently on top of your head. If you do that, just you know, try to avoid pressing down or forcing anything here. Just gently place your hand there and let gravity do the work. And if this feels like too much, this is completely optional if you release that. Either way, I'll we'll just take one more breath in here. And then exhale, release your hand if it's on your head. Gently slide your chin back through to center. And then come back up to neutral from there. Well, if you're using a block, let's just scoot it over to the other side. If not, either way, just take your um, left hand to the floor or block. 
upright spine, slide your right ear towards your right shoulder. Pause for a moment here. Just notice how it feels. Looking for a gentle stretch along your neck. If you want, maybe you place your hands on your head, but only if that feels good to you. Breathe. Block. You can just set that off to the side for right now. And still sitting up tall, that good posture. I'm gonna take your elbows out to the side. Take your fingertips to kiss like the tops of your shoulders. And then from here, we bring your elbows down and then out in front of you. And maybe your elbows touch. If they don't, that's okay too. Um, but bring them down like they're about to touch. And then bring them up and over in front of your face. And then release them down and back. And then as you release them down and back, see if you can really try to squeeze your shoulder blades together and down and back. We'll do this a few more times, a couple more times. So maybe with a little more fluidity with the breath. So inhale, come out in front, up and over. And exhale, down and back. And again, once more, inhale, up and over. And exhale down and back. And then just release that. Maybe do a few rolls here. Just kind of gently shake it out. Okay, and then from here, um, let's go ahead and slide your feet behind you. If you're using a blanket, you can set that aside. Or you might slide it under your knees for a little extra cushion there if you want that. Fingers spread wide, shoulders over your wrists, hips over your knees with a flat back coming into our tabletop. Fingers, like I said, fingers spread wide, flat back, find your space here. And then from here, we'll uh, move right into cat and cow. So inhale, look forward, and relax down towards the earth. Tailbone lengthens up into your cow. And exhale, draw your navel into your spine. Your tailbone tilts towards the earth into your cow, gazing at your navel. Inhale, sway forward, arch into your cow. And exhale to round into your cat. We'll just continue a few more times here to flow through these cat and cow movements at your own pace and with your own breath. back to your tabletop and from here just sink your seat to your heels any variation of child's pose so your knees can be close together or you may take them wider apart and stretch your arms out in front of you and rest your head down on your mat maybe you form a little pillow with your hands you could take your arms to the side as well but i will tell you if you really stretch your arms out in front of you you might feel you're gonna feel more of a stretch through your shoulder blades and your upper back so i encourage you to try that out but of course the choice is yours what you're feeling called to for your child's pose today continue to breathe in breathe out and just know that you can always come back to this at any time press down through the palms of your hands make your way back up to your tabletop Inhale, send your left hand up towards the ceiling. Begin to turn your gaze to look out over your left fingertips. Exhale, slide the arm underneath. Now lower down to your left forearm and gently slide your right ear and shoulder towards the floor. So it's called thread the needle. So find a nice stretch length through your shoulder here. Try your best to keep your hips and sacrum level. And we'll take about four or five more breaths here. Pause once again, really let yourself settle into the pose. If you notice that there's space between your shoulder and the floor, you can always take your blanket, maybe even unfold it once so it's not quite as high, and slide that underneath your shoulder to kind of close out any space there as well. We'll take a couple more breaths here. And then from here, 
then we'll come back up, make your way back up to your tabletop, and then do the other side. Inhale, send your right arm up, look out over your fingertips if you can, and then exhale, slide it through, thread it through here, thread the needle, and then let your ear and shoulder rest towards the floor. Continue to breathe in, breathe out. Create some space for yourself here. Can everybody see that? I'm going to scoot back a little bit more so you can really see what I'm doing. There we go. Take out three more breaths here. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Breathe in. Breathe out. And from here, we'll rest back up to your tabletop. And then, fingers spread wide, shoulders over your wrists. Begin to curl your toes under and lift your hips up to the sky. Downward facing dog, maybe the first one of the day. So feel free to make any stretches, movements that feel good to you here. Maybe walk it out a little, bending one knee and then the other. Maybe shake your head yes, shake your head no. Just kind of take a moment to Sure to check in with yourself. Let's take one more breath here. Inhale, lift your heels off the earth. Exhale, bend your knees. Inhale, step your feet forward to meet your hands. And exhale, forward fold. Just let your head hang heavy. So you might have a little bend in your knees or your legs maybe straight here. You can always put a block in if you have one underneath your hands to bring the floor up to you if you'd like. Your hands may or may not be touching the floor at this time. Press down to your feet. Inhale, slowly roll all the way up to standing a little bit at a time. And we'll step toward the top of your mat and just take a moment here, connect in your mountain pose. Just take a moment, find your mountain pose. Feet parallel to one another. Really root down through the soles of your feet. Find a little bit of ground in this. A little bit of stability if you can through this pose. While lengthening up through the crown of your head. Shoulder relax down and back. Find really good posture here. Everything is neatly stacked. And from here, we'll take your... Um, Take your right hand to your waist, inhale, left arm reaches overhead, slide it up and over, side body stretch, take a breath in, and take a breath out. Inhale, come back up again, we'll do the other side, take that hand to your waist, inhale, right arm reaches up, exhale, slide it over, if you can, slide along your ear, alongside your ear, take a breath. Inhale, come back up, exhale, release your hinge, kind of shake it out, maybe do a few more shoulder rolls here if you're feeling inclined to do that. And from here, just finding your mountain pose once again, do a little simple shoulder stretch here that I like to um, show people. So take your arms both out in front of you, take your left arm, take it straight out to the side, right elbow links underneath your left, and then just Slide it over if you can, look out over your left shoulder. And remember, we're not pushing or pulling on the shoulder here. Sometimes there's a tendency to do that. Just gently let it relax. If you're feeling a lot of tension in your shoulder, you might this might feel really good to you. I find that when I'm not feeling a lot of tension, I don't feel as much here. So just whatever you feel, just be open to that and go with it. I like to show this because it's so simple. You can even do it just sitting at a desk or in the car, things like that, if you're feeling tension. Um, so it's very versatile. Just take one more breath in. And exhale, release, shake it out. And then other side, bring your arms out in front and then loop the elbows. Slide your arm out to the side. And if you can, look out over your shoulder. Remember, still keeping our mountain pose aside from our arms here. So keep that good posture. Take a couple of gentle breaths here. exhale, release, shake it out. <coughs> so from here, we're going to step out to find a wide leg stance. 
Don't forget to drink plenty of water, of course. Now find your wide leg stance. And then uh, begin to pivot on your right foot so your right toes are facing out um, towards the edge of your mat here. If you look down, your right heel is in line with your left arch. Inhale, arms up to a T. Exhale, begin to reach that right hand out as far as you can. And once you can't reach any further, we're going to tilt into your triangle pose. Shoulders back, chest lifted. Make sure your neck is relaxed here in line with your spine supported. Just take another breath here. And then press down to your feet. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, release your arms down to the side. Pivot on your right foot so your toes are facing forward. Open your left toes out to face them, whatever that side is for you. Inhale, arms up to a T. And then exhale, tilt into your triangle pose on the side. We'll take a couple of breaths here. Remember, lengthening up rather than collapsing down. Just breathe. Press down to your feet. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, release your arms to the side. Pivot on your feet so both toes are facing out in front of you. So I'll start by putting just a little micro bend in your knees here. Take your hands, clasp on behind you, lengthen up through the crown of your head. Really squeeze your shoulder blades together. Again, if it's available to you, you can take your hands out away from your body. But again, just do what you can. And then hinge at your hips and fold forward. Take one breath in here if you can. Really reaching your hands up towards the ceiling, squeezing the shoulder blades together. And then exhale, release your hands down to the floor, or you can always use a block here to place underneath your hands if you'd like. And just let your head hang here. You might keep a little bend in your knees, or you might choose to straighten your legs, coming to our wide leg forward fold. We'll pause for about three or four breaths here. Just take a little moment of stillness. Come back to your breath. Come back to your attention. Take this time to just be. It's time for you. back up to the top of your mat, reconnect here in your Tadasana, your mountain pose. Let's take a breath for a moment here. Inhale, sweep your arms overhead, reach your fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, dive forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, look up to your flat back. <coughs> Exhale, to fold. Press down to your feet, inhale, repeat that roll up from the floor, roll all the way up to standing, reach your hands up to the sky, and exhale, dive it back down. Inhale, look up, flat back, exhale, to fold, and this time you fold, I want you to try something different here. Take your hands to each hand to opposite elbows, kind of like some people refer to this kind of like a right doll type of thing here. Maybe even rock a little from side to side. Feel your head and your neck relax here. Maybe feeling a little bit more of a stretch length in your shoulders. Just notice how that feels. If it doesn't feel good, you can return back to this, just taking your hands to the floor. But otherwise, we'll just take another breath or two here. Finding a release here through your shoulders as well as some length in your spine. Bend your knees enough so you're able to place your hands on the floor. Fingers spread wide. Step back to downward facing dog. If you want to make any movements here, feel free to do that. Or you might choose to just come to a place of stillness. Just take a moment. Breathe in. Breathe out. Take one more inhale. 
and exhale, release your knees down to the floor and just take your seat to your heels. Again, a little child's pose, y'all. Here, find that stretch through your shoulders and upper back. Take a breath in and out. Inhale, come back up to your tabletop. From here, just slide your feet over to one side. So it doesn't matter which side it is. We're going to come back to our comfortable seat. If you want to a blanket, go for it. Come back to a cross-legged seat, just kind of like where we started at today. Inhale, sweep your arms overhead. And exhale, just start to walk your hands out on the floor in front of you. Okay, any amount is fine. Just let your hands rest on the floor in front of you here. And we'll start to walk your hands out over to the right side of your mat. Looking for a nice stretch and your nice, a, lot, a nice side body stretch here. That's what I'm trying to say. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. And come back through center. And walk it over to the left. Same thing. Take a breath here. And any amount is fine. And let's walk back through center again. We'll take one more breath in. One more breath out. Inhale to walk your hands in towards your body and make your way back up to your seat with your upright spine. <laughs> Inhale, sweep your hands overhead. And exhale, send your left hand to your right knee. Turn to look out over your shoulder. So simple seated twist. As you inhale, you want to really sit up tall, length in your spine. And exhale, a twist, look out over your shoulder. Take another breath here. <coughs> Excuse my cough, guys. Not much I can do about that right now, but I still wanted to film and get this content out for you guys. Inhale, look forward, gently unwind from your twist, sweep your arms overhead, and exhale, take it to, to the other side, this time turning to look out over your left shoulder. Remember, we're still lengthening up through the crown of your head, even as you turn to look out over your shoulder. Take another breath here. Inhale, look forward, gently unwind from your twist. Inhale, reach your arms overhead again, and exhale, just release it down. You want to roll your shoulders again a few times, feel free to do that. And with your upright spine, once again, this time we're going to take your elbows out to the side. Um, clasp your hands. Um, go ahead and clasp your hands behind your head, so they're right at the um, base of your skull. And then start to tilt your chin towards the ceiling. Again, still sitting in a good posture. Tilt your chin towards the ceiling, elbows out to the side, and just gently let your head rest in your hands. Little neck stretches here. Take a breath in and out. Inhale, come back to be neutral, and exhale your chin to your chest, chest to chin. And you can keep your hands here, um, and most of us will probably like to do that. Um, but if you do, we're not, again, we're not pressing down, just kind of like gravity do its thing with your hands just gently rest there. If this feels like at all too much pressure to you, then you can always um, take your hands to the side and just stay here and um, try to stretch that way. Take your breath here. Inhale, come back up again, and exhale, tilt your chin up. This one's more each way. Inhale, come back up, exhale, chin to chest, take a breath here. Exhale, release your arms to the side. Um, and then from here, I will go ahead and if you're sitting on a blanket, you can set them off to the side for, for the moment. Go ahead and grab your block. Just have it available to you. Um, we'll use it in just a little bit here. But for right now, just come to a seat with your knees bent in front of you and your feet on the floor. Check to see that your feet are parallel to one another and just slowly lower all the way down onto your back. When you get there, just let your arms rest to the side, palms facing down. Just take a little moment here 
Take a breather, take a couple breaths, just let your back gently relax into the floor. And then we'll walk your feet in towards your glutes so your knees are stacked over your ankles. Press your feet into the floor and inhale, just lift your hips up, lower mid and upper back, coming into bridge pose. We're just gonna do one of these today, so we'll stay here three to five breaths if you'd like. And come down whenever you're ready. If you want, you can stay right here. You might choose to walk your shoulder blades closer together and clasp your hands underneath you. Maybe you lift your heels and come onto your toes. The spine look feels good. Coming back once more to that intention you set for your practice. What do you need right now? How might you release tension and stress in your mind? So you can also release any of that lingering tension and stress in your body. If you wanna come down, you can do that whenever you're ready. Otherwise, I'm gonna hold space to stay here for about one or two more breaths. And then exhale, release, lower down, upper, mid, and lower back. When you get there, let's give your knees a little hug in towards your chest. Maybe you rock a little from side to side. If that feels good to you, just kind of releasing any pressure in your back, kind of almost using the floor to, in a way, gently massage your spine. Optional here, if you'd like, you can take your happy baby, you can take your knees out wide, reach for the outside your feet, do a little hip opener here, another kind of stretch. If that feels good to you, then um, do that. If not, you can just hug your knees in. Let's take the next breath or two here. Just find whatever feels like a nice release for you. From here, we'll um, release your feet down to the floor and reach for your block. So grab your block and just on the lowest height is good here. Um, we'll begin to lift your hips up and slide this block underneath you, underneath your sacrum, on the very lowermost part of your spine. Again, you all have a block here. Maybe you just stack a couple of blankets and place them underneath here or another object. So just kind of you can get creative here. Um, and then from here, once you have that object, the block or whatever you're using underneath your sacrum, the lowermost part of your back, begin to bring your knees in toward your chest and let your feet float up towards the ceiling, coming into a supported inversion. Unless, of course, you have glaucoma, any serious eye injuries or anything like that, that would be a uh, reason not to go into um, an inversion. You make any movements of your feet that feel good here. Alternatively, if you really just don't have a block or something similar, no worries. You could just mix that and just hug your knees into your chest, take your hands to the back of your legs and let your feet float up and do it this way and then just make any movements again that feel good to you. Just wherever you're at, we'll just take one more breath in and one more breath out and bring your knees back in, release your feet. And just stretch your body long. So stretch your legs out in front of you. Stretch your arms back towards the wall behind you for a full body stretch. Almost pretend someone's pulling on your fingertips towards the wall behind you. And pulling your feet towards the, the front of the room. Let's take one more deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, big sigh out through your mouth. As you release your arms to the side. Feel free to make any movements or adjustments here you'd like to make to set up for Shavasana for a final relaxation pose. So you can always you can place your blanket over you for extra warmth or use anything you have available to you. So maybe you put your socks or something warmer on at this time. Um, if you're like me and you get little bits of tension under your knees, you can roll up a blanket. I'm just going to grab my little holster here, but um, if you don't have that, you can just roll up a blanket or something like that to slide under your knees for some extra support um, so that your back is able to relax. And then just let yourself rest and relax into the floor. Let your shoulders relax down towards the floor. Let your whole back of your body gently sink into the floor. Let your eyes gently close as you return back to your natural breath. And just settle in here for Shavasana, for corpse pose. 
kind of symbolizes the death or the end of our practice. It's a really good time to let die, let go of anything that isn't serving you, anything that might feel like an extra burden or an extra weight on your shoulders. You can just kind of release and feel a little bit more light, a little bit more loose, a little more carefree. Let's take this time here. Release all physical efforts from your body. And just let yourself gently absorb the benefits of our practice today. Now I'm going to invite you to perhaps pause this video. And I recommend that you stay here, that you stay in your Shavasana for at least five minutes. Ideally five to ten minutes would be good. Just so I go ahead and pause this video now. Maybe set a little timer on your phone or something just to let you know. Just let yourself take this time to absorb the practice and to really deeply relax and let go. And then we all need it. <coughs> Eventually, um, once you once you um, come to to the end of your Shabbos now you're ready to complete that practice. You may gently bring your knees in towards your chest. Just roll over to one side, preferably your right side, and pause for a moment here in fetal pose. Take care of your body. It's the only place you have to live. Jim Rohn. And then gently begin to make your way, mindfully make your way back up to your seat. And as you do so, just take a brief moment here of gratitude towards yourself for taking this time out, coming to the mat today. And even though you feel a little bit less stiff, a little more relaxed in your neck and shoulders, so know that you can come back to these practices at any time. So I hope that this practice provides some sort of relief um, in your neck and shoulders as well as in any other ways that you are needing it today. And thank you so much for joining me for this practice. I hope you will come back again and continue to come to your mat. Namaste.